at the end of my videos will show you all the information you need to give to PayPal or where to deliver to my house. Alrighty. Now, I have on my list, somebody wanted a sleeping bag. So all you have to do with the sleeping bag is make it to the desired size that you want. But I'm going to make it for a Barbie. And then you make it the same identical way. Okay? So, what we're going to do is I'm going to use this 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And we're going to cut it down to this size. Oh, yeah. Let me show you this. Maybe. Okay, let me get this cut down. No, I did not cut it. There we go. Not cut. Okay. Stick that over here. Now, I got this block here, and it's like almost, what is it, 12 by 12. <laughs> so, anyway, before I go cutting into my browns, I want to make sure that this is the block that I want. So I'm going to make this sleeping bag. Because I know it's one of the things on my list and I can't find my list. But I know it's on my list. Okay. So now I have this cut out. Now I want to get two pieces. I don't know. That's not going to be it. I need two pieces. That will be 12 and a half by 12 and a half. I think what I'm going to do is go this way with it. Get me two pieces of that. Let me get some room. I got too much stuff on here. <laughs> Way too much. Now you're going to need a zipper too. So. You're going to need batting. Or fiber fill. Anything to go inside to make. It can. It, you can make it all out of used material too. Um. This is what I'm using. They use material. Everything is used. So, I'm going to cut down. So I can make that smaller. And I'm going to. Yes, that's better. out of my way. Come on, fold up there. Don't give me no problem. <laughs> okay. Now then, let's go back to this. And we'll cut it down there we go one more side here yeah all right 
So now we have these two. <coughs> Let me get my spray. I'll make sure I got some on there. So we can't make sure we get it leveled up here. Okay, that'll work for that side. That will work for that. Now, we're going to want, I hope I got some of them here. There we go, I can use this. I don't know how much is here, but we're going to take us one of these strips. <coughs> Now I'm going to cut it down to two inches. So if we can't get us a good straight edge here. And I'm going to cut two. I may not need to, but I'm going to cut two so I'll have to. Two inches. Cutting this down from my rug later on. It's already cut. So I can get it in there. Alright. So, now then, what we want to do is we want to take this one and we want to. Oh, that's not going to reach. Let's go with two inches. We'll start down here and find us a marker. I, I'm not going to worry about the uh, um, it not washing out, but you want to be able for it to wash out. This is for a Barbie doll, so it really doesn't matter. Okay. Alright. Now we want to go down the other side too. Now, we want to quilt this down. So, when I get this quilted down, then we'll be back. Alrighty, I got that done. So now, what we want to do is we want to trim. Okay, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this. Just trim it down. So that we get all our strings and everything leveled up and looking pretty. That's all we're after. Alright. 
make sure it's still got. Thank you, baby. You wouldn't tell me I think it's here. A little bit, but you're fine. It's you're all right. Get rid of these strings. <laughs> Cause I most definitely have them on there. See? It's just where I've sold it. I need to get these off. We don't need them no more. Okay. Now then. Whew. Sweating. And we want to take and sew one side down on this one and then sew another one on the other side. And I think that right there worked just fine. So, so one on one side and one on the other side. And after we get that done, then we'll be back. Alrighty, I got my zipper done. And I got my zipper sewed right here to give it a nice finished look. So I'm going to set that aside. Now, what you want to do next is I'm measuring it for the Barbie doll. You want to measure it for yourself. Think about you laying right here in the middle. And you want to turn it in like this and have this part out of your way. So you want to be able to find out what this measurement is. Okay, so, um, right here it is, we want, I'm going over three inches here, and I'm going to go three inches down, and that should be enough for the Barbie doll, okay, and I'm going to cut it off. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Oh, trying to open it again. It's already open. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Well, I don't need to do that. All I need to do is just cut it. Alright, so now you got your two pieces. Throw them away. Now we have it down to here, like this. Now you want to take, this is going to be the inside. Take, turn this over. I'm going to lay my zipper down, like this, at least halfway. <coughs> in my material. Okay? I'm going to take this one. I'm going to turn it over and then turn it again so I've got a hem. And we're going to want to sew it through all of it. Now I got this side. Now, I'm going to unzip it all the way. Now, I'm going to do this side the same way. Make sure you don't get your zipper messed up here. Lay it down there. Flip it over. That.
Alright. Now, you want to make sure it works just fine. Do -do -do. And look at that. I twisted it. Somehow I twisted it. There we go. Now I'm going to zipper it up. See, I pinned it. I dry pinned it. See that? How that's going to go right there. It'll look better whenever you sew it down. Let's put her in there. So y'all can see what I'm, what we're fighting with. There she is in there. Go up. Alright. You see how that looks? That's what we want right there. Okay. So let's go sew those down. And then I'll be right back. Alright, now we got this. Now, see it still zip up. Alright, now we want to take care of this down here at the bottom. Okay? So, we're going to want to turn it inside outwards. Go ahead and zipper it up so we'll make sure that we get it out of the way. Alright, now you're going to want to sew right across here. Okay? So, all the way. Now, let's, let's do this other thing first. Probably be easier. And we'll do the zipper last. Okay, because we have all the, we have this opening and we want to keep this opening. So now to this one. You want to fold in. Okay, which way? Okay, we want to we want the zipper part going outward if I'm mistaken. So let's do this to make sure I'm completely right. Side outwards. Turn it around. There we go. Now we want to take this one, fold it like this, and we want to go right here where our tab is, and we want to put it right here because we want to cover that tab up. Then we're going to pin it down. Let's fold this thing in half. Be a whole lot better. And we'll look, give it a neater look. So we're going to fold that in half. I ain't never made one of these, but I can figure it out. Then we're going to want to put that one. Now then. You're going to want to do it like you do a quilt top. And you're going to want to bring it this away, right on, just like you would a quilt. It's not going to be a complete 45 degree angle. Okay, well, we're going to go back. We're going to bring it to the edge. Like we would a quilt. Pin it down. And bring it on out. And this one right here is going to be the same identical way. Just like you would a quilt. To the edge and back. Let me make sure you're close to it. So you can see what I'm doing. Make sure. Yeah, I can't get no closer. <laughs> okay. So we're going to bring it here and we're going to bring it up just like we would a quilt. And we're going to line it up with that. 
and bring it back down just like you would a quilt it's not going to be a 45 degree angle or whatever that is that you use on a quilt All right, then we're going to bring it on around Pin it down. All right. Now I'm gonna cut this off right there. Put it in there like that. Bring it out to where I'm covering my zipper. Lay it down. That should take care of my zipper there. All right, let's go sew that bad baby down. All right, I'm gonna bring you over here, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let me. I need a mirror for this. Oh yeah. And that way you see what I'm that I'm I'm doing it just like I would a quilt. Take that pin out. Now I'm gonna sew it down this way. Alright, now I'm right here at this other end. So I'm gonna sew it to it. And I'm gonna stop. Put my, put my needle down. Take this one, I'm going to pull it up just like you would a quilt. Okay? Then I'm going to get rid of that pin. Pull that down. Before I get to the end, I'm going to want to stop. <coughs> Put my needle down, and then I'm going to fix this just like I would <coughs> a quilt. out with it. Alright. Now, let's tag along back over here. You want to cut off anything that you don't want to make the bulk. Left a couple pins in it. Alright. Now you're going to want to turn this one down. You need something, babe? Okay. Let's get some uh, wonder clips. Look there. That right there is not good to be good. Yeah, but it'd be alright. Let's get some wonder clips and we're going to clip this down. Now this right here is going to be the exact same way. We're going to flip it like that, like you would the uh, quilt. And you're going to do this on a bigger scale. All right, let's cut some more of this right here off, so we don't have that big bulk there. Better. my pins. I will pin that down and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pin this one down. That's just so that they're out of the way. Well, did I get a hold of a dual needle? Alright, there we go. Take the back. If anything happens, you can see it. Hopefully, Oh, cool. Now, 
we're going to start with going backwards. And then we're going to go forwards. I'm going to turn this down so I don't run into one of these clips. I don't want to do that. I'd rather take it slow. Now we're right here. Now we're just going to pick it up and we're going to turn it. And keep on going. Okay, let's take that off. I thought I was too, but we're getting ready. Alright, now we're at the end. Now we want to back stitch. He kind of has to wind down after coming off work. Yeah, he does. Alright, now we're going to. Now we're going to take it and bring you back over here. Now then, we're going to flip it around and we're going to give it, well, we had it right the first time. Let's go back this way. Let's give it a zip up. See here how it's zipping up pretty good? Oh, you made her a slipping bag. Yeah, somebody asked me about a sleeping bag, and I was, well, I can make it for the Barbie, it's the same thing, but you just got to make it bigger. Yeah. <coughs> so now there's that. Let's put Barbie in it. Do -do -do. And y'all will see. See there? Now we got to work on the bottom here. We'll turn it inside outwards and we can go ahead and zipper it because it's not going to mutter all right now you these right here you want to make sure you have them folded this way for when you sew it down and you want this one to go this way so that they're not in the way as you do it. So, we're going to take it now. We'll make sure I'm in the middle. Just going to put it in the middle. I'm also going to eyeball it in the middle. And now I'm going to sew all the way across. I'm going to back stitch it too. So let's go do that. Stitch it. You gotta wanna go slow over this too. Back stitch. Alright, now from right here, you wanna go back over top of your zipper okay and then go back over here then that way you have it secured down really good alright tell you a funny story about my first husband now you want to come back over here and you want to cut this zipper off And then you want to turn it around. Now, if you want to, you could take and sew right down in here and make it more towards her feet. So what we're going to do is turn it around. And we're going to give her a try inside of it.
he's a teeny fellow. And there's that. Well, I don't know if I want to make her pillow or not. If they want to make a pillow for theirs, they're more than welcome to. But I'm not going to. Not for Emmy. She'll throw that thing in the garbage before you know it. But there is a Barbie sleeping bag. Now, what did you want to say? I said you want me to tell you something funny about my first husband. Well, what's that? In a sleeping bag. What about it? He, he and a bunch of his friends went camping, and they all had sleeping beds. He's the only one that had a bought one. And he woke up during the night, and he managed to wake up his friend that was close to him, and he said, go over there and move the fire a little bit closer, but don't stop. Don't bump the bag or anything. He said, there's a big snake in here with me. He said, so why do you want the, the fire moved closer to you? He said, well, the fire will make it warm in here, and the snake will get uncomfortable in it. I'm hoping it'll leave. Okay. He said, now, don't bump the sleeping bag. He said, I won't. He said, if you bump the sleeping bag, you're liable to starve the snake, and it's liable to bite me. He went down, the, he, he got out of his bed and he went a, a big circle around and he started just a stick or two at a time moving the fire a little closer to him. And he said it's working, he said the snake's moving around now. He said, can you see it coming out down at the bottom? He said, no. He, he said, uh, I know why. He said, why? Because it's coming out up here at my head. He said, well, keep your head and your mouth real still. Don't make no noises. Don't breathe hard. He said, you can believe I won't. Be ready to chop it out, its head off when it gets clear of the, ba of the bag. So the guy, his friend got there with the machete, and he sat there and watched till the snake crawled completely out. <coughs> and he said, the snake's out and I'm going to chop its head off right now. I said, go ahead. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to look. Well, the knife came down just a few inches from his eye. Oh, man. He said, I felt that knife. He said, I know you did. He said, it was either make sure I killed the snake or not swing at it at all. He said, did you kill it? He said, I cut its head completely off and threw it off to the side. He said, well, go make sure it's dead. He said, you want me to go out there in the dark to make sure a snake is dead? He said, I can't get, I can't move. He said, I'm paralyzed. He said, did the snake bite you? He said, no, the snake didn't bite me, but I can't move. He said, I can't even move my fingers. Well, why can't he move? He was so terrified. Oh, okay. All right, we'll see you the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you would like to donate to Poor Man Sewing, please go down here to Poor Man Sewing, mash it, go over to About, and right here is your Donate button. And mash on it. All donations will go to the sewing room uh, shed that we have. And they are very much appreciated. Thank you. I appreciate your, your donating.